Hello everybody and welcome to this quick review of Linux Mint version 17 codename Kuyana. Uh, this is the release candidate, the final version should be out in uh, just a few days. And this is the Mate or Mate spin that we're looking at right here. So let's just uh, jump right into this, look at what's new and look at what we're shipping in this release. So. Um, it's featuring the latest version of the Mate desktop environment, version 1.8. Uh, just in case you don't know, Mate uh, or Mate is a, a fork of the original GNOME 2 project, which was uh, shut down by the original GNOME developers. And a group of people decided basically to pick up that code and this is now known as Mate. So if you're a fan of the GNOME 2 or the classic GNOME environment, this is something you uh, might want to check out. Then, of course, this release is based on Ubuntu 14.04. And so it's shipping the same kernel as uh, Ubuntu 14.04, kernel 3.13, which brings a lot of improvements for uh, hardware, graphic cards, but also stuff like faster networking and such. So let's uh, take a look at the default applications. Nothing really new here um, as far as the software choices go. Of course we have Firefox as the default web browser, Thundermail as your mail client, we have HexChat for IRC, Pigeon for stuff like ICQ, MSN, or Yahoo Messenger transmission for uh, torrent downloads. Of course, we ship a full-blown Office suite, LibreOffice with all the necessary programs. Uh, VLC pre-installed, something that I really like. VLC, of course, can play pretty much any format, codec, or whatever. Shouldn't have any problems with that. Banshee for organizing your media and music collection. Prezero for burning CDs. And there's also the uh, Totem video player, just in case you don't want to use VLC for whatever reason. Graphics, we have the Jim image editor. Um, GThumb for photo organization. Other than that, pretty standard stuff, nothing too special in here. And the whole theme hasn't really changed much since the uh, latest release. Just a few improvements here and there. Looks a little bit more polished, but nothing too special if you're coming from Linux Mint version uh, 16. Now, something I really like about this release is some of the new um, system tools that the Linux Mint team has put together for this release. And this, for example, is the software sources tool, which allows easy adding of um, package repositories. So here's your basically your official repositories, your main uh, repository. You click on that, you can choose a mirror that is located nearest to you, which will usually deliver the best speed. Then you have your third party repositories, the PPAs. You can see uh, the authentication keys that you have authorized in your system, maintenance tool, um, really easy to understand. And it's definitely something for beginners that may feel uncomfortable editing the source.list files. Other than these new little system tools, uh, there's not really too much new stuff under the hood here. If you're coming from Linux Mint version 16, uh, you should be very familiar with this release. Overall, I feel like it's a little bit more of a uh, maintenance uh, and update release, so of course, you have a lot of updated packages and a fresh kernel with better hardware support. And since this is based on Ubuntu 14.04, the LTS version, it will be supported for quite a while. Now, personally, I think the Cinnamon uh, release looks a little bit more put together, a little bit more polished, but that's just my opinion. I know there are a lot of fans of Mate that like this classic GNOME 2 style look. So, um, Feel free to leave a comment, let me know what you think about this release. Check out my channel for more distro reviews and if you like it, feel free to subscribe.